Greetings. This is a planetary alignment and earthquake watch for the 23rd through to the 31st of October 2014. We're looking at an animated view of two strong planetary alignments, one occurring before and after the solar eclipse, which may suggest a powerful 7.5 or greater magnitude earthquake during this watch. The first few weeks of October have yielded eight significant earthquakes, with two of these events registered over seven magnitude. A 7.1 earthquake in the southern east Pacific rise on October 9, and also a 7.3 earthquake near the coast of Nicaragua on October 14, imply a very significantly busy month already, seismically speaking, and I'm expecting this to continue, especially during the last week of the month, or immediately after the solar eclipse, where there may be one or more earthquakes registered over 7.5 magnitude. Now I'm concerned that there may be a tsunami associated, as I'm expecting an ocean-based earthquake, a high possibility during this watch. A spectacular coronal mass ejection has been released from the Sun earlier today, and this immediately followed two M-class solar flares. Now the coronal mass ejection released from the Sun aimed directly towards Mars and the galactic center. Now we should see an increase in solar activity preceding the solar eclipse. This is due to two planetary alignments. And then immediately after the solar eclipse, we should see an increase in seismic activity and we should see some very strong earthquakes following. We now look at the latest coronal hole information on the solar corona, where we see four coronal hole formations of note. Now we're going to be looking ahead during this watch period and there are two strong coronal hole formations, one in the northern hemisphere, arrowed, and also a coronal hole formation yet to rotate on the Earth-facing side of the disk, and that should rotate in around one to two days. Now I'm expecting a very strong earthquake to be occurring, hypersymmetric to one of these coronal hole formations, and I'm concerned about the coronal hole formation yet to rotate onto the disk, and also the very large coronal hole formation at around 36 to 39 degrees north latitude as the main focus for this watch. We're now looking at the important October ephemeris, where we have three strong planetary alignments and significant celestial influences, which will be key for this month. We have Mercury on October 16 and 17 involved in two alignments with Earth, Sun, and the following day with Venus and Sun. Now we should see a significant uptick in seismic activity from October 23rd onwards, and this is due to the Earth, Sun, Venus alignment, which takes place on October 25th. I'll have more information on this shortly. Now we do have the important influence of Venus which will contribute and enhance energies on this day. I'm concerned of a very powerful earthquake to be occurring. And towards the end of the month I'm expecting another strong earthquake due to another series of planetary harmonics and geometry. It is important to note that on October 23rd at 21.57 UTC we have a partial solar eclipse. Now this is an important solar eclipse. Now we should see a culmination of energies occurring prior and a release immediately after and a strong earthquake should follow. Now we're particularly looking at the Saros cycle 153. If we go back and looking at the pairing or family of the Saros cycles and a continuation of this eclipse, we find back in 1906 and 1960 a similar eclipse pattern or shadow across the Earth where very large earthquakes had occurred during these time frames. On January 31st, 1906, an 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake struck in the Colombia, Ecuador regions. This was a powerful earthquake that had an associated tsunami that caused at least 500 casualties just off the coast of Colombia. Also occurring in 1906, a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck in San Francisco. This earthquake had 3,000 casualties associated. We're now moving forward to 1960 where the largest earthquake ever recorded took place in South America. This earthquake registered to 9.5 magnitude and had an associated significant tsunami spread right across the Pacific. This event had 6,000 casualties associated. As we can see, this Saros cycle of 153 does have powerful and devastating earthquakes with tsunami associated. Now that is a concern during this watch. We also need to consider the powerful planetary alignment of Earth-Sun-Venus taking place on October 25th, and this also has a powerful earthquake and tsunami symmetry as well. Back in 1755, a magnitude 9 earthquake struck the region where it's estimated 100,000 lives were lost. The important alignment on October 25th takes place at 731 UTC. 
the exact moon overhead or longitudinal position has a very strong Asian and Indian Ocean profile. And now looking at the lunar influence, specifically targeting the lunar declination taking place on October 28. Now the exact moon position at the time of the lunar declination has a signature across the Pacific Ocean. And now for the earthquake forecast. Now it is worth noting that I do have a new earthquake forecasting model and also a research assistant where Kimberley and myself have come up with three locations of interest during this watch period with a key emphasis being the Caribbean plate and the number one area of concern with areas of focus being the Puerto Rico and also the Dominican Republic regions. We have a mirrored symmetry and almost identical planetary geometry taking place towards the end of the month where back in 1918 the San Fermin earthquake magnitude 7.5 earthquake took place just offshore Puerto Rico. This earthquake produced a devastating tsunami where 116 lives were lost. Now not only do we have a mirrored symmetry of Venus, Sun, Earth to consider but also the near alignment of Mars, Sun and Jupiter almost identical. If this earthquake is a landlocked event we have significant data suggesting that the regions of Pakistan and India could be most at risk for a very powerful earthquake and surrounding regions of Bhutan or Nepal could be at risk as well. And the final area of concern will be the Philippines region as we have significant planetary geometry here as well especially towards the end of the month October 28 through October 30 with key areas of focus being the Negros Cebu region adjacent in Bohol and also further north the Luzon Philippines region. Now there is important geometry taking place as mentioned and we do see that the symmetry involves Venus and Mars at 90 degrees or square with symmetry with Mercury. Comet sighting spring will make its near approach to Mars on October 19 so we should see some solar influences based on this motion and movement of the comet itself through the Mars-Sun translation. So we should see the onset of emerging flux or the rapid development of two active regions on the solar corona in and around the same time frame October 18 through to October 21st. We're starting to see significant anomalies registered on data services not only ionospheric but also the GD GDPS. Very powerful readings registered in the Central Pacific Ocean in and around the Hawaii region which is a concern so we may see strong volcanic activity for Hawaii, Mount Kilauea before the year is out. And we also see very powerful ionospheric anomalies registered to 16 megahertz, also very very large and the strongest for the year. And that concludes this planetary alignment and earthquake forecast video for the last eight days of October. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers, exclusive video content as well as a website newsletter. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.